This is the Spirit of Ecstasy. I'm doing uh, reviewing medical books this evening. Some of my favorite books. I hope you'll enjoy it. And uh, I'm going to go back through because I noticed it. I'm going to do a quick survey here because I noticed that I cut off part of the, the book when I went through there before and didn't get part of them down here either. And uh, I'm going to have to make sure that I get everything in there. Uh, if there's any way of doing that. Okay. Okay, the molecular basis of human cancer, medi guidance, medical physiology, endocrinology, endocrinology a handbook of chemistry and physics, and current surgical therapy. And. Lang's current surgical diagnosis and treatment and Lang's pathophysiology of disease and immunology and the surgery and the serology and uh, physician's desk reference and uh, principles of internal medicine Harrison's handbook of chemistry and physics and chronology and medical pathology. Okay, that's got that role. And uh, make sure I get. Okay. Okay. Now, what happened to my light? Manual of Clinical Microbiology, Rubens Pathology. Sedman's Medical Encyclopedia, Dorland's Medical Dictionary, Human Physiology and Mechanisms of Disease. That's uh, Harrison's 36th Order, the Gray's Anatomy, British Edition. Or, Cardiovascular procedures, super health, immune advantage, and super lifespan, super health. Okay. And we come back up here and Just go through these real quick. Okay, I believe I got those in there. Drug guide, very good drug guide for nurses. It's uh, Deglin, G D E G L I N, and Valoran. Davis's drug guide for nurses. Tabor's medical encyclopedia, very good. Uh, uh, Tabor's medical dictionary, very good dictionary. Gast uh, handbook of gastroenterology, uh, surgical recall, Blackburn's by L. W. W. by the Lippincott, Willings and Wilkins and Williams. Ordinary ailments and extraordinary cures, and so on. Now, I believe I got these pretty well. Diagnostic microbiology and uh, biochemistry. Anatomy for students. It'll be emergency care, medical surgical nursing, internal medicine, clinically oriented anatomy. And 
veterinary uh, comprehensive review of veterinary techniques and the Mayo Clinic Gastroenterology and Hepatology Board Review. Uh, Williams Pathological Basis of Disease by Cotran, Kumar, and Collins. Robbins, well, their editors, it's called Robbins Pathology, Pathologic Basis of Disease. Put out by Saunders Publishers. A very uh, good text, which all uh, RNs and medical students and doctors hit and read all the way through. It's a uh, standby text. Basic, uh, and then Basic Pathology. Uh, Robin's Basic Pathology, Clinical Lipidology, a uh, comprehensive guide to uh, Brunwald's heart disease. And uh, Kumar and Clark's Clinical Medicine. At toxicological, toxicological emergencies. There's those. And these. And now these are the ones that got cut off while ago. I want to make sure I get them in there. There we go. Learning how to do it. This is a very good aid. Knowing exactly where all my books are and so forth. And when I see the book and the name of it, I remember what all's in it and all the chapters that are in it. Very helpful. And I have this stuff down here on this row. Might be able to get that all in there like that. And they're kind of jumbled because of my uh, going through them, reviewing them. I'm going to have to reorganize it all when I get through reviewing everything. Okay, let's see. We got. back down there so it gets close up. While I'm healing by Deepak Chopra. A lot of Deepak Chopra's books Vibrational medicine, emergency books, and those there are all stacked up so you can't see them, but I'll have to get those later. Or I've been, with. but those are some of them that I reviewed anyway. So, okay, back over here so you see where 
we left off. Applied therapeutics. And this is all by design to be the most comprehensive medical library anywhere around. And uh, the few that I don't have, I'm going to get. It's a, it's, a, it's a medical library that won't quit. And so that's why it's good to see all of this. And I'm, I'm proud of it and, and so forth. And uh, got to, uh, yep, got back up there and run into a little problems with my cords. Okay. Uh, okay, back where we was at now. Yeah. Book of Surgery. Okay. Pretty well got that there. Uh, this was Trees and Shrubs. And then those chiropractic books. So that pretty well got that caught up. So that part that books that were cut off, and then I was reviewing, uh, I was reviewing this, uh, Merck Manual, uh, and the ISB number, ISBN number for it, oh, make sure and get that ISBN number for it. Well, I don't know if this in it. This is an addition. It's too old to have a. No, it's not. Okay. Well, we'll get that later because I don't see it. I'll have to find it. It's going to take me a while to get that all reviewed. Uh, that book reviewed anyway. Okay. Now, gastroint. Uh, this Merck manual. Gastrointestinal. Disorders. That's one of my favorite subjects there. Gastrointestinal disorders. So you understand all about digestion and how to. It helps you to understand how to uh, eat right and uh, take care of your digestive system so it works for you and serves you for many years without problems. Uh, disorders of the esophagus, uh, common symptoms and signs, common diagnostic principle uh, procedures, and functional dyspepsia and other uh, nonspecific gastrointestinal complaints, gastrointestinal bleeding, disorders of the stomach and duodenal gastritis, and peptic ulcers, all the different kinds of ulcers, uh, bezoars and foreign bodies, and acute abdomen and surgical gastroenterology, uh, Appendicitis, specific types of acute peritonitis. Uh, just very, very good. It just covers covers all of it and breaks down everything, you know, just like this disorders of the esophagus, the common symptoms and signs. Gives you the uh, dysphagia and the preesophageal dysphagia and the esophageal dysphagia. Breaks it all down into symptoms and into indications and so on like that. And type, particular kind of gives you, then it gives you the types of drugs that you can use to treat it and uh, uh, 